Hello everybody and welcome this time to Pentix, created by Mr. Unreliable. So a very big thank you to Mr. Unreliable. Now this title, according to the description, was not misspelt due to exhaustion. So yeah, sure we can go ahead and believe that. Or as I would prefer to believe right now, we're hearing a Cave Johnson voice recording about how it's just far more efficient to drop two whole syllables. Uh, the fun thing about this map, apparently, as it's slowly revealed to us there, is that this is in fact a gravity gun. Yes, so, you know, kinetics, gravity gun, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, what do you actually do then, and can I, can I have you? Can I, can I, can I have you off of there? You, you don't want to give up the gun. You don't trust me with the gun for some reason. Well, that puts a slight issue into the whole map play, isn't it? You, are you not going to work? Am I going to have to restart the map? Do I have to bash you free using actual gravity? Oh, it kind of does. Do I really have to bash you free using actual gravity? No, I, I can make you very... Yeah, okay, there it goes. I used gravity to free the gravity gun. So we've got a custom crosshair. And from what I understand, you are the gravity gun. You're the gravity gun. Of course you are. Uh, would have been very cool for this to actually have had the custom model. But I imagine that's actually quite tricky to do. So, what are the rules? Do you act like a normal gravity gun? You don't grab from there. What's the other one do? Okay, the other one. The right click pulls. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I've got a sparkler. And you grab that from anywhere you are. I want to play with the sparkler a sec. Ah, that's fun. I can write my name. Oh wait, that's the, that's the other name. Um, ignore that, you saw that. So I see a conveyance beam up ahead and we have cube launching technology. Yeah, I quite like the idea of that already. So yeah, it would be very cool if this had been the actual uh, gravity gun model, but I'm not a modder. I assume that's pretty tricky to do. How strong are you? You can actually yank it back out of a conveyance beam. Can I pull it all the way out of a conveyance beam from mid flow? Yeah, okay. Right, so this is apparently four introductory type maps to the concept of using the gravity gun to solve aperture style puzzles. No cube. Okay, no cube. You... You don't want to work? No cube with lasers? If it's got a laser in it, I can't do anything. I can't biff it about the place. And I can't pull it. Uh, there's a non-laser variety over here with some nice custom artwork. Also, got to appreciate custom signage in a portal map. I can grab you, no problem, and I can chuck you about the place, no problem. Okay. You don't have mesh on top. You do. Okay, so this is an introduction to, I suppose, getting the cube from awkward type places. You've got the laser aiming reticle thing. Don't actually appear to need you at all in here, though, so let's go ahead and stick you on there as per regular science dictates. And into the second of our four. The first room doesn't count, right? That's just the grab the gun room. Uh, we've got a button behind there with a life preserver. So that's the reset mechanic. Laser emitter pointed at the floor. Cube up there, higher level. Laser receiver for elevator. Do you work... Or you do actually work through glass? Okay, you're very, very wiggly through glass. You're actually quite wiggly anyway, aren't you? Yeah, sometimes the Source engine just doesn't like what people try and make it do these days. But I love the fact that people are trying. Oh, you can grab two at once. Okay, it's got quite powerful. That, Gordon's didn't do that, right? Gordon's couldn't grab two things at once, could it? Can I? Yeah, okay, you can have, can I have both at once? Can I finally carry stacked cubes like I've always wanted to do in this game? Sit on there. Nah, it's, it's too wiggly for that. Why am I using wiggly? Don't know. Okay, uh, so you presumably want to go ahead and sit in there. Bring the elevator down for us. Uh, that should be doing that, but that's actually the other way around. So let's do you like that. Bring the elevator down. Then I assume just pull you out of there. Takes me up. Cube gets jammed in elevator. I've broken it already. Can you come out of there? No, you, you, you're stuck there. Okay, well, um, you know what? That kind of worked anyway sure things are bound to get rather wonky i love the fact that you went straight back into your position there cool so that's a big drop this is going to be like 
introduction to using this to solve aperture style puzzles, which I'm pretty sure I've already said. Uh, probably not the weirdest, although, you know, the gun's not supposed to do this. So that is kind of weird. You sit back on there. You were probably there already for a reason. That's controlling a fizzler field in the middle of the room. We've got another life preserver, you gone done fucked up reset mechanic button. Secondary button here. Secondary button here lowers another elevator panel for us. So same sort of thing, plus more science around the corner there that we can't currently see. So how quick are you at getting past a fizzler? You are not quicker than the speed of fizzler light. So in that case, that means we be the cube, right? Grab you like that, chuck you over there, and that is probably all that's needed to do that. You sit on there then, which will bring down the elevator. Uh, we can't, like, bash you about from a distance, so we do have to do pulling when things are far away. This time I've jammed the elevator with my head, but that's okay. I'm human and can get out of such situations. Gets us up to the higher level where we've got a button here for the exit. The cube, however, is downstairs. Are you an auto-respawning cube by any chance? And where even are you? You're over there. Can I pull you that way? New cube, you are an auto-respawning cube. Or in this case, let's just manually pull you up here. That's quite fun, being able to just get the cube from basically anywhere in the map like that. It does seem to work through glass and fizzlers as well. Isn't there a console command that actually lets you grab cubes from any distance. I wonder if that's how Mr. Unreliable has actually made this work and then, I don't know, some other sort of console command that I'm not aware of that says Biff Cube all the way over there. Uh, this gets us through into, I've lost count, third or fourth. If this is the fourth, we're almost done. There's the exit up there. Don't think we're quite done yet. We've got another cube delivery tube up above. Laser going straight through and a, well, what was a non-respawning laser refraction cube. Can I have another one of those, please? We're probably going to need it since there's a laser up there. I see a button on the wall, which is already making me think, Biff the cube up there. Why am I using Biff? Sometimes I get stuck on really stupid words, and they're the only ones I can think to use. So since you're glassed in up there, probably not biffing you from here. Chuck. Chuck is a better word. Probably not chucking you from here. Probably chucking you from around here but it's all meshed off we've got a currently non-activated faith plate who is connected to you and everything else appears to be up above no way to turn off the fizzler here so yeah that actually that second room taught us that we can pull it through mesh right and still not do that still manipulate it through the mesh like a normal cube handling kind of thing. Since for some reason the portal gun kind of technically has some gravity gun properties, right? I mean, Shell never picks up the cubes with her actual hand because that would be difficult to animate. You sit over here and I'm going to grab you from over there using the gravity gun technology. Yeah, it'd be really cool if this was the actual, the actual uh, gravity gun model, the old zero point gun herself. So I take it, you want me to chuck it up there and get on here? Yeah, I like the idea of launching the cubes at buttons instead of conveyance beams all the time and waiting, waiting forever for that conveyance beam, actually just biffing the cube across the room is quite fun. I do like this idea for a, like a new way to tackle puzzles in Aperture. Everything with a reskin and the actual model that could be very cool for its own standalone mod kind of thing. Uh, we've got a regular cube up here. Laser receiver is apparently half of our door. And the other half of the door being a regular floor button here. So science would dictate that you probably sit over here. But there's probably something else to do before then. Laser goes directly through glass work here. So we're going to need the laser reflection cube to be able to hit you. Where even is the laser reflection cube, I assume? I assume the laser reflection cube went in the deadly, deadly goo. Uh, the only way to get a new one of them is that button down there, right? And then hole in the wall. Chuck the cube up here? Chuck the cube up here. Uh, how did we get up here? We need a cube to launch at the wall. So we're probably going to have to use you. 
So is it like a cube swap with sacrificial cube biffing across room? You go down... Actually, you should have... You should have gone through the hole that way, right? Yeah, we're going to need both cubes over this side first. Is there any way to do that from down here? No, we're going to have to basically reset that one, aren't we? So you go in there then. No reset mechanic button in this one, but you can do it manually. So you give me you. You sit somewhere within gravity gun grabbing range. Let's grab you via the mesh this side. Try and not chuck you straight in the goo. Launch you up there, which is weirdly satisfying thing to do for hitting a button. I do like that. Um, we need all new cubes. So let's grab one of these. Oh, the crosshair. The crosshair disappears depending on how close you are to a surface. Does that indicate, like, not within grabbing range? Or too close to grab? I mean, if you're really close, you can't hurt yourself. No, you can still pick it up. That seems to pick it up as a regular, regular pickup as opposed to that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Ooh. Oh, he's an excited little cube. It's full of gravitational energies. Um, I assume that's using that console command that lets you grab a cube from great distances. I wanted to chuck you over there, preferably without getting you destroyed like that. That would, I guess, be the only downside to chucking cubes with gravity, is you can't always rely on them going quite exactly where you want safely. For example... That one went in the goo? No, it's in the back corner there. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, right, so go down, get a reflection cube as well. Actually, we just chucked the reflection cube? Yeah, chucked the reflection cube straight up there. Hence the hole in the wall. Like... No, 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 better than that. No, come back! Ah, oh, I didn't get it in time. Okay, give me a new one. I'll grab you out of midair, like that. And then up there somewhere. Nope. Up there somewhere. Stay safe up there for me, cube. You do the job that one did initially by sitting here. Grab you through the mesh this side. Use you to chuck at the wall. Like so. And like so, stand on you. Easily obtain a new one of the regular boring weighted cubes up here. Uh, you go ahead and sit on the button. You go ahead and do laser refraction duties around the corner there. And we can go ahead and get into our next chamber. Yeah, I like this. I like this concept of a different way of solving stuff. Imagine this, like, totally reskinned to be all derelict, destroyed aperture, right? And you do the usual whole, you know, waking up in the status chamber by preferably someone less annoying than Wheatley. And instead of discovering the portal gun, you actually discover the gravity gun. But, like, there's a pile of debris and what could easily be assumed to be Gordon's hand just reaching out for it, smashed under all the rubble. That... That is storytelling. Somebody who's good at modding, feel free to nick that. Um, right, so what are we actually doing in here? There's a button on the wall there. That's one of those buttons with a human indicator, which indicates you're supposed to use your ass to do it, like so. That. That. That drops a cube. Drops a laser reflection cube into a conveyance beam set for certain death in a fizzler. And a button across the far side. The Fizzler is deactivated using one of these fancy sensor floor type buttons. We've got a laser emitter here coming out of the ceiling. Nope, coming out of the floor into the ceiling. Doing nothing. And a cube depositing tube button with another regular boring weighted cube. So it's going to be another cube swap kind of deal, right? But cube swap around the Fizzler. And actually, there's a monitor up there gonna say that's all it is but there's a monitor up there that appears to be looking at appears to be looking at the actual button down here can I chuck you in there and get there quick enough to actually look at that yeah okay so that is for a timing type thing so you can see when things are gonna get there in time uh, you are open that side directly above you so yeah, cube switch. Uh, let's get a new one of these. 
which can't actually do anything over this side other than press the button on the wall. So let's chuck you into there. You go ahead and press that. That gets rid of the fizzler in the middle. No, that opens up the door. We need this one to get rid of the fizzler in the middle. So wait, do I actually need to have... I'm assuming it's a cube swap, right? Because, well, laser cube's got to go there to do the elevator for us. So you will get fizzled if I pull you that way like normal. So we need a regular cube. Nope, that's the regular cube. We need to use our ass to get a refraction cube. And can I just yank you up here? Yeah, I like that as well, being able to just sort of like pull it out of the conveyance beam. Uh, you go ahead and sit in here then. Which I suppose gives us access to pulling you this way. Since we can pull from the full... There, uh, you have to fight the conveyance beam. You can pull from the full length. Uh, you can go ahead then and do that button there, which keeps the fizzler deactivated. We can chuck you all the way over there. Yeah, that, that's actually weirdly satisfying to do. Chuck you all the way over there, which means we can go ahead and retrieve you from this side. I like the fact that the physics applies still, that you have to fight the conveyance beam just a little bit to pull it out of there. Um, that's weirdly tightly around the corner. Is that not where you're supposed to go? Technically you work, but map design wise that sort of suggests you shouldn't be doing that. But again, Technically it works, and this place wants you dead, so if it technically it works, it counts. Um, which means I've lost track of what I was trying to do now. That has lifted up you, so actually you go over here, right? We were taught this in one of the earlier chambers. You go there, then let's grab you out of there. Try not to break the elevator this time. Thankfully that's not Wheatley's face for once. And I guess drop you down here, which will get rid of the Fizzler. But we still need a cube to go do over there. Does it matter about you? I suppose if I'm up here, we don't actually need you anymore, right? So, once again, as we were taught, somewhere about there. And then grab you back and drop you there. Hopefully, as indicated by the monitor. Yeah, that's nice. Using monitors to show players at what would otherwise be a blind spot is always appreciated. Uh, that gets us out of here, and like I said, I've lost count, but I've got a feeling that is the actual end. That was Kentix, created by Mr. Unreliable. And yeah, I like that. That's a fun little proof of concept introduction type map to the idea of uh, using the gravity gun's mechanics to solve aperture-esque style puzzles. And I think with some reskinning and some model work, that could be a very cool standalone mod or game in its own right. And it could kind of be what some people want from Portal 3 when the inevitable crossover happens. So a very big thank you to Mr. Unreliable and a very big thank you to you for watching. Catch you later.